let's get some work done. It's really pretty outside. Maybe I should work out there. It's too pretty to work right now. I've got an idea. So the easiest way to find it is from the St. Elmo playground. From there behind the playground up the hill, there's a road called Gill Trail. Just start hiking up Gill Trail. And then after walking up Gill Trail, you just see this trail in the woods. See? Marked by wild trails. What a hike. Here we are in the woods above St. Elmo on the side of Lookout Mountain to talk about do insects prefer local or foreign foods. Uh, the first thing you want to do is look at the leaf in this and estimate how many grid squares it covers. Now that doesn't mean count every grid square. As you can see, this section right here Right there only covers about half of a grid square. So when you're counting, only count that as one half. Now if you find another grid square that also has one half, you can add those together for a full grid square or a full square centimeter. As you go through this, it asks you to find the hypothesis. The hypothesis is what Elizabeth thought would happen to the leaves of the native plants, the exotic plants, and the invasive plants. So go ahead and underline that. I'll be checking for that when you turn in your packets. On the next page, it asks you to make your own prediction based by coloring in a leaf. So pick one color, pencil gray is fine, and color in how much of a leaf you think will be eaten. So how much of this native plant do you think will be eaten by the local herbivores? How much of an exotic plant how much of an invasive plant? Fill in the rest of the leaf with another color. Let's say green. That seems like a good leaf color. It also asks you to list your independent and dependent variables. Now remember what Miss Lovers and Miss Stocklose have been talking to you all about with independent and dependent variables. Your independent variable is your input your dependent variable is your output. So what are we putting in and what are we getting out? Here's a hint. Time is usually an input. Next, you have to interpret the data, okay? So you have to look at this page, all right? Now, we have to think, does the data support our hypothesis? What was the hypothesis again? 
What did Elizabeth think was going to happen? So, now you have to make a claim that answers the scientific question. The question was, which, how does insect herbivore damage compare for native, exotic, and invasive plant species? The invasive plant species is the dark gray. Exotic plant species are light gray and native plant species are white. So looking at this graph, which one has more insect damage? So make a claim based off this evidence. And when you use evidence, you have to use numbers. That is a year, and that's gonna be the proportion of leaf area eaten by herbivores. Support your claim, okay? This is where you go back and you look at that evidence. Be very specific. If I don't see a number, if it's not written in a complete sentence, it is wrong. And now it's your turn. Was Elizabeth right? Was she wrong? Remember, science is not always about getting the right answer. It's about finding the answer, about finding the evidence that will prove your answer right or wrong. The good part about science, if you're wrong, you get to do more science. Yeah!